Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be reviewing pens. Pens are great tactics to actually win a lot of pieces. And we have a very good example right now. We can bring this rook to b6 to attack the opponent's knight. But we're not just attacking this knight right now. If the opponent's knight tries to go away, we will be attacking the opponent's king in the back. So everybody, this is what we call a pen. A pen is a piece that is protecting something more valuable in the back on the same line. Right now our rook is making this attack on the sixth rank and because we have the black king on h6, this knight cannot go anywhere. They have to protect the king. Now it is black turn, so if black tries to move the king, we can go ahead and capture the opponent's knight. And this is how we can win, actually, some pieces with pens. And this is what we call, everybody, an absolute pen. Right now, the knight is absolutely pinned, meaning it cannot leave the sixth rank uh, because the rook will be checking the king. So the knight cannot go at all right now. But there is also what we call a regular pen, and I will show that in a second. Let's actually uh, look into the four knights opening. Let's do we do the Spanish variation and the four knights. And then we bring our bishops to here. Okay. So everybody in this position, our bishop that's on g5 is attacking the black knight on f6. Now this knight is very well protected by the queen, by the pawn, so black is nothing to worry about right now. But as white, everybody, if this black knight ever moves away on the same diagonal, there is the queen. So we can try to capture the opponent's queen. Uh, so there are famous attacks like moving the knight to um, and d5, and now we are putting pressure over the pin piece. If this knight captures our knight, we can go ahead and capture the opponent's queen. So in the regular pins, the piece can move. The pin piece is able to move. But if they do move, it might not be a very good idea because what is in the back, that very valuable piece can be captured. So this is a great example of a pen. And everybody, pens can be done by pieces that go on long lines. So our bishops, they can go on long diagonals, they can do a pen. Our rooks, they can go on long files, long ranks, they can do a pen. And our queen, which is a combination of the bishop and the rook, can do both. So the queen can also do a pen. So these are the pieces that we can use to make a pen. Let me set up another example of a pen. All right, so let's look into this position. In this position, our bishop is actually pinning the black knight. Because if this black knight goes away, we can try to capture the opponent's queen. But as white, we can also bring this queen to a1 to pin the knight from this diagonal. So we are pinning this knight from two different diagonals. And over the this kind of pin is what we call a cross pin. It's a double pin. Now uh, the opponent cannot move the knight to anywhere because of this absolute pin. So in the next turn, we want to capture this knight, and then maybe we can do a fork. <laughs> so everybody, um, this is a short video on pins. Uh, if we have any questions, please write a comment. Uh, if we don't, see you in the next one. Bye.